What's up guys, I got a brand new video for you today and I have the fresh 50 millimeter F1.2 GM and we're gonna shoot with it today and see how it holds up. I'm shooting with Casey and we're gonna do like this 70s style shoot. So that's why I got my creepy 70s, uh, like creepy photographer glasses on. Yeah, let's shoot. Maybe come in a little bit closer to it. Not, oh. not to me, but just like, yeah. I wanna see more of this fence. The sun's actually kind of diffused, which is nice. We'll use this to our advantage. Uh, look down to your left a little more. Chin up just a bit. I love when the wind starts doing its thing. What if we sit down on this? I'm definitely not gonna shoot F1.2 for everything because I feel like it's not necessary. And this doesn't require me to be that shallow depth of field. So we're gonna shoot at F2. Oh yeah, just hold that three, two, one. Can you look straight at me, like straight on? Just tilt your head off to the shoulder, to, yeah. Nice. Yo, that looks nice, Casey. I like that, chin up just a bit. Um, maybe step out to about here and then let your back just hit into here. <laughs> kind of like a, like one of, one of these. I'm having a hard time trying to figure out the focal plane on this because it's like this thin razor blade. So it's like this much is in focus and everything else just falls off. Nice. We got it. Lens caps on for me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we drove by this street and there's a sick orange beetle. I like that when you're just kind of looking down. Uh, oh yeah, look back off that way again. I'm getting some bounce off the wall actually. I'm actually surprised that that slight bounce off the wall, it's like lighting your face. This lens is relatively compact and light for a 50 millimeter f1.2. It only weighs 1.7 pounds or 778 grams and it's only 108 millimeters long. The lens feels amazing and well balanced on an a7 III and it's got a de-clickable aperture ring that ranges from f1.2 to f16. It's also got a really nice 11 blade aperture that's going to give you a nice clean circular bokeh while stopping down. The left side has an autofocus manual focus switch as well as a focus hole button above that. But what's interesting is that they've also added another button on top of the lens. It also has a 72 millimeter front filter thread. And I also noticed it's got a concave front element instead of a convex like most lenses. And of course it's dust and moisture resistant. When it comes to autofocus, this lens has quad XD linear motors. The lens is insanely fast. It's nearly silent. And at F1.2, the depth of field is so thin, it makes nailing focus a challenge, but this lens did a really good job. It pretty much never missed anything I threw at it. It even did a pretty good job in backlight, but I didn't notice it had a harder time locking onto the eye. Yeah, that's crazy. This lens is like locked on like crazy at F1.2. Let's come closer to this building. We're gonna use this building as a bounce. It's gonna bounce a little bit more light off. It looks like I have like a PA holding a bounce board for me right now. Like to me, everything is like so warm and like, it makes, it makes the colors pop. Like I'm probably never taking these glasses off again. Pretty happy with the autofocus at F1.2 to be honest. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. Can you bring one leg down? Yeah. Um, opposite leg. So put the one closest to the camera up and it drop the other one down. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. I'm gonna shoot F1.2. That's nice. Hey, just wanna jump in here real quick. My presets are going on sale for 50% off all summer. So basically until the end of August, they're gonna be 50% off. 
classicports.com. They're the presets I use on everything. And make sure to check those out. Back to the video. Oh yeah, we got a nice little flare now. So maybe just like top step there maybe. I'm trying to get that backlight all direct where the sun goes. I'm gonna shoot at like F4 I think though. Let's get a little bit more of a sun star in there. I got this crazy like circular flare that comes off this too. There's like a circular flare that cuts in. I kind of like stuff like that though. I like weird flare characteristics. Um, let's do one where you're up against the fence. This is your, these are your baseball team photos. Um, can you bring your arms in a little closer? Whatever stare you just gave me there, I like that. Give me that intensity. Uh, straight on again, don't tilt your head, just straight on. So I talked about how I like some of the interesting characteristics of this lens, but the bokeh is really nice and dreamy at f1.2, but you'll notice near the edges of the frame that the bokeh is more oval until you stop it down to around f1.8 and then it becomes circular across the frame. This lens also has a pretty close minimum focus distance of 40 centimeters, but the one thing I really wanted to test was the focus breathing because it was really strong on the 35mm f1.4, and I'd say this is slightly better but not that amazing. Um, let's come back into this corner here. We got like three seconds of sun. It's okay though. Look off toward, yeah, nice. Don't tilt as much as straight on, yep. I'm gonna go until I'm not a shadow. Yeah, so drop that, drop that left arm down again. Chin up and yeah, exactly. Nice. All right, so that's it for our shoot with the 50 millimeter F1.2 G Master and this lens is super nice, super dreamy. Obviously you've seen some image samples and I talked about this lens, so I'm just gonna shut up here. That's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you just like this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thanks to Joe for shooting behind the scenes and for Casey for modeling. Make sure to follow everybody. I'm out. It's the sun setting. It's, it's beautiful. Oh yeah, bud. Hi, are you back again? <laughs> for me, you shouldn't have. Stash, stash envy. I have beard envy. Beard envy? <laughs> oh yeah. Look at all the people wanting parking spots and we got the best one. I know, I know. And they're so, so cute. Kids are out smoking cigs. Smoking my up. Mm, I bet you can see so much right now. <laughs>